All right, um, it's taken a few uh, gallons to get enough cream off my uh, cow milk and I'm making cheese and so I'm getting a little bit of cream off and I'm gonna try to make butter with my little uh, daisy, daisy churn that I have got. I'm gonna see how much cream I got and I'll show you that I can uh, take this spoon. I don't have a cream separator. It's crude video, but I just wanna show you how thick it is. You guys skimming off the top. It's been sitting, see that? It's like whipped cream. I'm gonna put it in this little daisy churn. I got some saved already in uh, this process. Trying to save the uh, cream off the gallons. And see how thick that is? It's like whipped cream you buy in the store. Well, that's uh, one thing about Jersey milk. Uh, my son poured this uh, milk in his cereal and he just got a bunch of cream. And uh, it's because he didn't mix it up. And uh, well, that's the difference between Jersey and Holstein. Holstein, you won't have that problem. But um, I'm learning. You gotta take the good with the bad. Um, take this cream off and uh, we'll, we'll try to make some butter. See how we do. See how much cream we get. But ain't that cool? You can start to see um, it getting down to the, the milk part. See the milk? Mm. Nah. It's hard to get it. Those cream separators are like $600, so they're expensive. But I just wanted to show that with you. I'll show you some more in a second. Patriot Homestead. Whoa. My goodness, we're going to have to make sure that's still good. Smell it. Yep, that's still good. It's just thick. It's been in there a couple of days. That's some thick cream. Goodness gracious. That's what happens when it sits there. Cream goes to the top. Grass and hay fed, Jersey cows, ruby, and some grain. This cream will make your uh, calves fat. Here's what it looks like. Once you get the cream off, you really have to mix it up. Holstein milk is just pure consistency and then this uh, all in preference. Stir it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Sorry about the rad one. Very different from goat milk, isn't it? Goat milk is uh, hot, homogenized already. It means the milk and the cream's already in it. And it's, but it does get a little cream at the top. My, my Hagenberg goat. That's what Jersey milk looks like. Let me see the fat. So I almost got the little daisy butter churn filled up. Don't want it to fill up too much or it'll come off the top. And that's the milk I'm gonna make cheese with. It's still got plenty of cream in it and fat. And, and we're just gonna take the cream off a little bit more. So we can, uh, Beautiful, isn't it? Here's some too. I'll see how much cream that in there. Sorry. Look at there. It's pretty. Well, 
I just hope y'all enjoyed watching that. Now we're gonna um, turn this into butter, Lord willing, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna pour the rest of it in a, in here, and uh, then I'm gonna be working on butter. and golden. So we're going to mix the old ways with the new. We have a nut bag. It's, uh, let's see what that says. I can't see it. It says Ellie's Best and it's a nut, it's a nut bag and uh, we put the butter inside of this and uh, we're going to rinse it out in the sink and uh, get the, the whey, anything that causes it to spoil, and then we're going to put it in the mold, and uh, after we've salted it, but uh, this is the way you can remove your whey, and uh, I use it for cheese making, and uh, I made butter, and uh, making some cheese out of Ruby's cow milk, but uh, we're going to make the old ways with the new. In the process of making some good cow cheese, this is what it looks like from last night sitting in here. I'll show you this thick stuff. Lots of whey and lots of curds. So we're going to make some butter. Look, there's the whey. I washed it and now I'm getting the loose water off of it. I got this at an antique store and uh, my mama got me this bowl at the Goodwill. She found it. But we're going to try to squeeze all the water out of it. This paddle works really good. I watched uh, somebody on YouTube uh, and I had to get me one. So we're gonna, this is the first time I've ever done it with a paddle, so I'm not an expert. But I'm trying to get the way out, and I'm not that great at it, but this is me. I get into my work, make it a mess, and uh, I'm going to try to get this uh, excess water out of it. You know, butter um, uh, hardens up when you put it in the mold, so just trying to work it. And, uh, this is experiment, my first time. I, so, I know everybody's going to be like, well, you're making a mess of it, but uh, you got to learn somehow. So, I'm getting the water out the way. And this bowl really helps. It's a wooden bowl, so it grasps onto it really well. And so, you can see I'm going to pour it up in a jar. I'm not saving it because it's just watery milk. On the other hand, I got some other uh, buttermilk over there. I'm going to try to uh, make some butter out of and give my daddy uh, the leftover uh, buttermilk, some of it, because he loves it. He said he'll, he'll really like that. And you can use that buttermilk to make uh, breads and uh, things and replace the uh, milk. Gives it a different flavor. So you just uh, working with it. I wish uh, I had one of these handmade. Somebody made this real smooth, but I think I would like it textured, not glossed over. This is more for looks. But uh, this bowl, I love the bowl because it's not—it's just got a rough finish. Uh, 
um, I like a rough finish. I don't like it all smooth. You can grasp it better if uh, it's uh, got a nice, uh, just rough finish, not slippery. But we're just going to drain this right here. Hey, look at this. I'm going to add some of this good honey got from the mountains in Asheville. On the side of the road, they sell honey. I'm going to add honey to it. I had that idea. I'm going to make it taste good rather than just having plain salty butter. I'm going to add have honey butter. I can get all this stuff out. It takes a while to work your butter. Well, it's an artwork. Nobody had nothing to do with uh, well, they had work to do. They didn't have uh, a lot of uh, other things to do. They they did this because they knew they had to, had to have butter. They had to work. That's what they did. They didn't play on uh, the internet all day. They uh, they worked and farmed and uh, got ready for uh, winter time in the summer. So I imagine they. Uh, took their time in getting the, the way out of the butter and uh, the water and uh, time really was uh, just all they had. No rush, this is art part now. You know it. Making butter is a lost art. Give me this beautiful butter. Bless her heart. Hope Mama's looking down watching me. Wonder what she thinks. My Mama, she never was into making uh, stuff like this. This is more like uh, stuff like my grandma and my great grandma would do. My Mama worked as a CNA and uh, she never did can or anything like that. This is uh, just all coming from me. My daddy grew up um, this lifestyle, but um, it never was practice. So this is, uh, I have to learn everything by myself uh, through the internet and just uh, watching other people. Maybe one of these days uh, my kids will be uh, interested in uh, learning to make butter. Or the grandkids, if I ever have any. Which I want for a long time. Right, Jonathan? <laughs> I imagine they, yeah. Uh, wasn't very particular. They might have left a little of that water in it. But we sure are trying to get it all out. Takes a while. Alright, we're going to put the honey in it. Okay, so this is what the butter looks like, and I uh, use this butter bell right here to make it with, and uh, it's the first time, and I didn't quite get the shape onto the butter, I had to smooth it out, but it was supposed to look like that from the bottom, but uh, me being my first time, I didn't know how to use it, so it just come out real firm, and uh, I smoothed it out with a butter knife, and uh, that was a butter bell as a mold that I used and I got it out and uh, this is cheese and uh, here's some more uh, cheese that I made out of the cream so I was making cheese and butter and uh, you can make uh, cheese balls out of these and put them in jars with uh, cilantro and uh, other herbs and uh, olive oil like I used to make and uh, serve them and so this is uh, what it ended up looking like.
beautiful butter, it's honey butter, and uh, it's good old cheese right there. Let's see what you can see if we can slice that cheese.